Hey guys, Eileen Vick here with Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick, and this is part three of coloring the Johanna Bosford um, Circle of Fish, and where we are putting um, images or pictures over pictures. So, we've gotten to the point now where I've colored in the octopus, and now I'm going to show you how to shade in the gray so you get a really nice three-dimensional effect. So take a peek at this. You can see how where I've started to do the shading. This is my little worksheet. But I did that in advance so that you can see what I'm aiming for. It's a nice three-dimensional effect. It'll cause the octopus to pop out of the um, page and of course make it look 3D. So the pencil that I'm using today, hopefully you can see this because we sometimes I have a little difficulty, is the Faber-Castell and this is the warm gray number four and it is pencil number 275. Come on, give me the, yeah, 270. Oh, I lied, 273, excuse me. All right, so that's 273. And so I'm going to show you how to start getting that really nice three-dimensional effect because I'm concentrating on the octopus and then we'll move on to some other pieces. So let me get my piece that's got all the drawings on it. little camera adjustment here. You're going to bounce a little bit because my camera wants to come out of its holder. Alright, so if it bothers you, look away. I think I'm going to have to invest in a different camera stand. But this one's okay for now. Alright, so when you want to create a three-dimensional effect, what you need to be doing is adding darker color around the outside. And I just showed you that with my work piece or the demonstration piece so you can see in advance what I'm after today. All right, so I'm gonna take my pencil and as I've always told you, <laughs> I actually remembered this, is put your paper towel down first because now you've got your hand on colored pencil and you don't wanna be smearing that. So, let me adjust a little bit. And we're going to come in. All right. So, very lightly. And again, I've told you all every time, start out lightly and let the pencil do the work. And the way you do that is you just continue coloring over the same spot until you get the desired shade. So in other words, I'm not going in here gangbusters and going in heavy in order to get that shading. I got on the outside a little bit, so I'm going to quick correct that. All right, so what you're going to do now is go around the outside of your octopus and what you want to do is create a gradient of color from darker to the outside to lighter towards the inside. So as I'm going towards the inside, I'm not pressing as hard. And I'm not going to go over it as many times as I am towards the outside. And see, you can see beautifully now through the camera how that's looking shaded. As I go towards the inside, I am reducing the pressure. I'm probably going from maybe a 5 to a 2, so a 5 on the outside or a 4 on the outside, to a um, 2 towards the inside. The other thing you want to be careful of as you're coloring is you don't, you want, well, you don't want to make just a, a dark line around the outside. So I'm doing a combination of straight lines coloring and that's okay in this case because I'm specifically following an edge 
to doing little circles. And again, you want your outside to be the darkest. And then you want to lighten up your pencil as you color towards the middle. Oh, excuse me, got to scratch my nose there. All right. And take your time. And when I lift my pencil, I turn it ever so slightly just to keep a nice point. There you go. Look how great that looks. And then again, as I get towards the inside, I'm just doing very lightly in little circles because you want an even gradient of color from darkest to lightest. And at this point, I can't really tell you how many times to go over this. This is going to be up to you to create the illusion that you want to create. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm going in little circles to go around this edge. Now remember where I made my little boo-boo with my ink, which is right there? I'm going to cover that with my little darker pencil. I mean, obviously, when you use your stencils and trace and stuff, you don't want to make mistakes on it and just say, oh, it doesn't matter because I can fix it. The less things you fix, the better. Now I'm making a very narrow, dark line here. See how I'm going back and forth on that? I'm pulling just a little more for you. And slide you over a little bit. See my little boo-boo here from inking earlier? That's okay. I'm going to cover it with a pencil. Now see, I've got a very narrow distance here on this tentacle, so I'm really sticking close to the edges here, which is going to make it look really cool. Alright, so now I'm coming down to the V of the arm. And again, don't press hard at first, just work your color. Take your time. And the thing is, as you do this more and more, especially for you beginners, you're, you're going to start to get a feel for it as to how many times you should pass over a spot. It's like anything else, you're acquiring the skill. Now, this is really narrow in here, so now I'm turning my pencil and just really sticking close to that edge because I want the center to be a little bit lighter. Let's see, today's Thursday as I'm making this video. I hope everybody's doing well. It is broiling hot again here in Tennessee. It's like 90, I don't know, 92, 93, but again, it's that humidity that's killing us. So you stay inside and color. Ha! All right, see on the camera how you can see that nice white here? That's what's creating now the three-dimensional effect, right? Cool. Cool beans. I'm old enough, I can say that now. So I've got a nice dark edge. Now, as I get back to my bigger areas here, I can 
go out towards the middle a little bit. Again, I'm lightening the pressure because I don't want it as dark. But I don't want to go too far towards the center because as I'm doing this octopus, um, I want to do my edges first and then I'll decide from there how far I want to go in as far as shading in a three-dimensional effect. Again, I'll go in a little bit, but not too far. Ah, I bobbled. And guys, when try not to erase too much on your stuff because every time you erase, you agitate the surface of the paper. But don't hesitate to erase. I mean, my gosh, if you have to erase, you have to erase. So yeah, it's Thursday. It is wickedly hot outside. But God has been good to me. It's been a great week. I can't thank you guys enough for all the shares and likes and comments I'm getting. Keep the emails coming. Tell your friends. And again, I'm teaching you basic techniques so that you can use this idea on other drawings. Okay, so I'm down to the tip here. And now I'm just going to, I'm sticking to the uh, edge. See how I'm leaving that center as being light? Oh, and that reminds me, and I'm talking about other drawings. I would really encourage you to find my Facebook coloring group only for the purpose of seeing other stuff that I've colored. Now, I gotta tell you, as of today, I think today's the 16th of June, I don't have a calendar in front of me. As of today, I don't have a huge number of my stuff uploaded, but I will get it to the point so you can go online and see how I'm doing my stuff and it'll give you ideas. So you want to look for Adult Coloring with Eileen, again, I-L-E-N-E, -E, Vic, V-I-C-K. Now, don't friend me as Eileen Vic. That's just my personal and private Facebook thingy. Be sure you know the difference. It's Adult Coloring with Eileen Vic. Look how neat that's looking. Let me pull out a second here. Isn't that cool? I'm going to stay out a little bit so you can start seeing the overall effect. Now, as I get into the fatter tentacle, I'm progressing towards the center with a lighter pressure to give that dimensional. In other words, you don't just want to outline your octopus because that's going to look funny. You want the um, shading to gradiate in towards the center and get lighter and lighter towards the center. And don't worry if you can't do it as fast as I do it. Again, I keep telling you, I've done this <laughs> over and over and over, so... I can just about do it in my sleep. Take your time. Outline. Don't try and get dark on the first pass. Use multiple passes so you can determine what weight you want your line. Yeah. Oop, got a little mistake there. You can really see that one on the camera too. All right. Let's clean that up a little bit. Yeah. 
better. So now I'm just going around the outside of my octopus here. So where was I? Uh, 90 some degrees, high humidity, feeling blessed that I'm inside with air conditioning, feeling really blessed that I have the time, ability, and skill to sit here and teach you this stuff. As you know, I've got my master's degree in adult education, so I love teaching. And I love coloring, so hey, perfect combination, huh? Okay, so we're working around the tentacles. See, you can really tell the difference now, the ones that I've done and the ones that I haven't. And see how over here the dark goes from dark to, to light and there's not much transition? I'll be fixing that. You don't want to see that, that stark of a transition. It's got to be lighter or more uniform, excuse me. Don't forget, lighten your pressure as you go in towards the center of the tentacle or the head. And rather than trying to do the color in one pass, do it in multiple passes until you get the color that you want. That's where a lot of people make their mistakes. They jam down their pencils and try and get the immediate color and that'll mess you up every time. You've heard me say that over and over again, right? And turn your pencil as you're coloring. And I will ask you again, now look, on the curve, see this curve? You want a really nice shadow right there. Let's get some nice shadows going. Um, yeah, please subscribe. And if you like my videos, please like my videos. It takes two seconds. And I know you guys, you know, kind of forget this, but it's important to us that we see whether you like our videos or not, because that helps me create the direction that I'm going to continue in doing them in. If you don't like my video, then okay, obviously don't push the like button. But that little click means a lot to us artists. Okay, so see I've got the inside of the curve, which I went over the edge a little bit. Let me fix that. I need to sharpen my pencil. See where I am on 18 minutes. Okay. And hopefully my video showing you this in real time is not like paint drying, watching paint dry. I really want you to pick up this technique so that you can use it universally on your other drawings and your other colorings. That's why I like to get a, get a little chatty with you and say hi and tell you what's going on. I don't know if I told you too, I've got three cats and one dog. Uh, Vicky is my dog. Okay. And then I have Gazelle, my cat aka Gizzy Domino because she's got a white she's a black cat with two white squares on her big white squares on her stomach and Miss Kitty who was a rescue and I just could not come up with anything creative to call her so it was Miss Kitty all my cats are rescues Vicky my dog is a rescue and they seem to know that you know they're just 
loyal like you wouldn't believe. When I'm not feeling well, they sleep with me and stick like glue. Okay. All right. So I'm basically outlined now. Let me go back out. And remember when I told you to look at these upside down so that your eye doesn't try and see the octopus? Now you're just seeing the colors and the shapes. So what I'm going to do now is go back because right now I've got stark darker lines on the outside that go immediately to white and we need to I need to fix that transition a little bit. So I want to go from the darker towards the outside to a medium to the existing light. And that's done by very gently coloring over little circles on the inside of the dark line that you just put there. And this is where letting your pencil do the work really makes a difference. It's just putting another subtle layer of color there. Again, don't don't push down right away. Just let your pencil do the work. My pressure is probably eh, a two, maybe a three. Darker towards the edges, a little firmer towards the edges, lighter towards the inside. Ha! So as the joke goes, lighten up! Ha ha ha! I know. That's bad. Now see how you can see the stark difference between the black and the lighter, or the black, the darker gray and the lighter gray? That's exactly what I'm fixing on all these tentacles. See? And see how that line's disappearing on camera? as I'm doing this. Now, if it's easier for you to do this transition while you're doing the coloring, that's fine. In other words, as you're doing your dark outside, if you want to go ahead and do your transition while you're on the tentacle, that's fine. But I'm just showing you right now as a beginner what I'm doing with this. I don't care how you get there, I just want to show you what the final result needs to be. So if you're coloring in your tentacle and you're feeling confident enough, do your dark outline and transition to the lighter center while you're on the tentacle. That's fine. If it's easier for you just to outline it in the dark first and then go back, that's fine too. All right, looking good. Let me pull in. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to use my little pencil eraser here by Tombro Mono Zero and I'm going to look for any areas that I whoopsied and get rid of those because that helps me see the rest of the tentacle and I think I've got everybody if where I made a boo-boo 
If I don't, I'll fix it after I end the recording here. But now I'm just very carefully going around the outside and getting rid of that. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can take your eraser. Again, this is your point eraser here. It's a small one. And you can very carefully and very judiciously go down the middle of each tentacle a little bit, and that'll increase your white. Use your judgment on that. I just decided I wanted to do that. Yeah, see how that's popping now? I'm going to just hit that center a little bit. Be very, very light on this. Now, you can go back with your pencil and fix it if you take off too much. See, notice on the right how I have a little more light than I do on the left. Isn't that cool? And the point that I want to bring up here is you can always adjust your stuff after you've colored it. Don't be afraid to do these little tricks. That's why you watch my videos. See, I'm just going down the very center. I'm not going too many times now, see? Yeah. And another little option that you can do, let me get this little guy back here in the center, is don't forget that you've got your blender pencil. Okay, let me find a piece of paper that I can scribble on. Not on top of the octopus. Remember how I've told you, clean off the tip of your... Yeah, see, see how much gunk came off? Clean off the tip of your blender pencil. Okay, so now, just to give you another way to do this, is you can very carefully... Use your blender pencil to lighten that center. Now, and while you're lightening the center, my hand's straight up and down, by the way, so that's why I'm not on my paper towel. But that also helps you blend in that outer edge dark gray into the center. And again, as you use these tools, you'll figure out what they do and what you want to do with them. Very, very lightly with the blender pencil. Alright, now one more thing I'm going to do, this is optional, but as I was doing this, the thought crossed my mind. And I'm going to tell you this with caution. Let me get my hand, uh, hand eraser here. Give me a second. I believe I've showed you this before, but I'm not going to assume that. This is my KUM sharpener. They're metal, a little pricey, but boy do they work. You don't need to press hard at all. Look look how sharp that point is. And this is my little plastic food tub, which keep the lid on, especially if you have cats that walk across your table while you're coloring and making a video. All right, so here's a little technique I'm going to show you. Again, optional.
Sorry for the jiggling. But I'm just going to show you this quickly. Is you can take, I'm going to take a dark, this is a dark sepia. And I'll be darned if I can see that color. Excuse me, number 175, dark sepia. And I'm only going to do a little tiny portion here. Is I'm going to stick to the very, very edge now. And I'm going to just about outline the whole octopus. But you got to stay right on the edge, and that way you don't have to worry about blending it in. Yeah, see the difference? So I'm going to round out to the edge of the octopus head, and then I'm going to stop. And if you decide that you want to do that, do it all the way around, but stay on the very, very, very edge on the gray. Okay? Look how cool that looks. Okay. And see how you're really starting to get that 3D effect now. Let me zoom in. Look at that. See how neat that makes it look like? I mean, that's just really making that look 3D. Like that's popping up. Look at that. But I am like right on the edge and I'm not going to blend that. Okay guys, that's it. This is Eileen Vick for Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. I hope you learned something today. God bless you. Thank you for spending time with me. Tell your friends. Bye.